Hi everyone, welcome you all for regularization in neural network. So here the neural network is having a, a different kind of regularization approaches. First one is early stopping. So here the earliest stopping is like a cross validation strategy which is splitting the data as training set and validation data set when the performance of the validation data set is reaching worse then immediately stop the training on the model for example you take this plot here the validation data set is starting from here the last is starting from here the zero is the lowest uh, last value and one is the highest last value the initially the validation data set is having zero point approximately 0 0.9 as the last last value so when you are increasing the epochs at, uh, which is slightly reducing step by step the then after reaching this point again it is increasing uh, towards the highest value so here the validation is once reaching the worst case okay it is reaching the uh, worst case then we can stop the uh, training on the model so here the validation and a training will be uh, done parallelly in the neural network so here uh, stop the training at the dotted line so this is the uh, dotted line okay so here that in the dotted line we have to stop the epochs we have uh, of the training phase so here uh, after this dotted line is increasing the error so due to that the difference between the uh, training error and testing error is high so if you have high variance between the training error and validation error then the model will uh, reach the overfitting so to avoid the overfitting we are stopping the uh, training at the dotted line that is called the earlier stopping point so this is the point we are stopping the uh, uh, execution of the training uh, of the given model so in keras we can apply earlier stopping using the method callback so which is tracking the uh, execution of the uh, training phase uh, how the model is uh, varying with respect to each and every uh, uh, epoch uh, uh, for given model so how that uh, loss function is calculated and uh, what is the difference between the training loss and uh, validation loss so uh, here uh, it is stopping the uh, execution when monitored quantity has not improved after n number of epochs so that is is also there suppose if you are having a model like this so it's keep on going okay this is a validation error and this one is a training error so if it is keep on going so you look at that there is no change uh, after this particular level so uh, at this uh, point also we can stop the execution no need to keep on uh, execute until reaching the maximum number of epochs so it is unnecessary wasting our execution time and another regularization approach is here dropout the dropout is uh, making some weights will be randomly set to zero for example this is the neural network here this is dense network so a dense network in the sense all the neurons uh, connected to all number of neurons in the next layer okay so it is having connection to all the neurons in the next layer and this neuron is also having connection to all the uh, neurons in the next layer like that this is this neuron is having connection to all the neurons in the next layer so when you are having like this there is the possibility of learning all the patterns all the patterns in the given data set training data set for example uh, few people will memorize all the uh, lines in the code before the exams right so when you are when, uh, when we are asking to write the program in the exam few people will mug up that memorize that uh, uh, 10 lines of code uh, without understanding the uh, uh, concept behind the programming language code so like that here 
here the neural network is memorizing or learning all the patterns from the given training data so due to that there is the possibility of error between the training um, data and the validation data is high so to avoid that what we are making so here few weights okay few weights will be making as a zero so you look at that this connectivity so here weight is making as a zero if this weight is zero then x1 into w1 so here if w1 is zero this entire term will become zero so that's what it is happening here so we are we are uh, making that connection as a zero so due to that uh, we are it, that connection is not taking any input into the next layer that is called dropping this connection okay dropping this connection that means dropping this neuron for this given Ep uh, epochs are iteration okay so here after applying the dropout for this weights what it will be happen it becomes uh, 0 0.1 here minus 0 0.9 so we are dropping these two weights okay it is making it are uh, we are making the two weights as a zero for our dropout method so which is randomly distributed over the weights the dropout rate parameter is controlling how many weights to be set to zero so we can set the dropout rate that means we the rate is from uh, range is from 0 to 1 so mostly they will use either 0 0.2 or 0 0.5 okay mostly they will use 0 0.2 and a uh, few times they will uh, vary the value 0 0.5 okay so it will give you some good uh, accuracy for the model and one more regularization method is the data augmentation for the neural network which is generating new training samples to the given data set so more training data decreases the models variance that means when you are increasing the number of samples in the training data automatically there is the possibility of reducing the uh, uh, overfitting okay that is that is the uh, concept behind this data augmentation so here it is can it is also seen as in the form of nice injection into the training data set when you are making uh, more number of samples from already existing samples for example if i am having the image like this okay so from this image i am going to create uh, more than uh, more than one image so by applying some procedure so i will get so image like this for same image we are going to make even with the different positions by applying Proceed some uh, augmentation procedure. So when you are uh, generating new image from the existing image, there is the possibility of adding noise. That means quality. Quality may be decreased. Okay. So it is also called noise injection into the training data set. There is different type of augmentations. One is the data manipulation. Here we will apply geometric transformations like image flipping. That means we will uh, flip the image vertical or uh, horizontal or uh, we will rotate the image so we will apply some different uh, uh, transformations cropping rotations translations color modification image mixing joining two images three images like that so cutout is commonly used to remove certain portion of the image that means suppose if you are having two objects in the uh, image then we will remove one of the uh, object from the image and mix up is the process of blending two images from the data set into single images so we are that is like a merging two images and we can uh, apply the feature space augmentation that means instead of transforming uh, image uh, in the input space applying the transformation on the features we will have x1 x2 x3 like that so from this features we, there is the possibility of increasing more number of features that means for example if you have the uh, uh, a date of birth then we can uh, establish one more feature age so like that so we can increase the number of features in the uh, given data set so which can be done by using the auto encoders which is used to extract the latent representation that means unknown variables so here age is unknown so from the date of birth we can uh, derive the uh, age value so that is called latent variable here the nice can be added into the latent representation 
transformation which results in a transformation of the original data point so and another one method is gan based augmentation so generative adversarial networks which is used to generate more number of images from the existing single image so by using some procedure and meta learning is another kind of uh, augmentation in the ne neural networks which is used to prevent the uh, overfitting by optimizing the neural networks so here uh, which is using one neural network to optimize another neural networks by tuning their hyperparameters and improving their layout that is uh, use a classification uh, network to tune an augmentation network into generating better images for example uh, if you have free random images to an augmentation network which generates uh, i mean feeding feeding the random images into gan which is generating more number of images for the given uh, input image here both augmented image and the original are uh, passed into the second network second neural network which is comparing them and provide the good quality augmented images so by using this uh, kind of method we can generate more number of images for the training data set so that is one of the uh, method to improve the Im increase the number of samples in the training data set that will reduce the overfitting thanks for watching